we can now find the distance between two parallel lines. So sometimes when we're trying to find the distance between two parallel lines, we ask for, or we're asked for different things. Sometimes we want the horizontal distance. And the horizontal distance is just the straight line distance between the two. The vertical distance, straight up and down between the two, just like horizontal, vertical. Now, at any point along these parallel lines, I could draw in a horizontal line. So I could draw in a horizontal line from here to here. I could draw a horizontal line from here to here. But the easiest one is the horizontal line that goes from the intercept of one to the intercept of the other. So you can use the x and y intercepts to find the distance. Because if we know this x value and we know this x value, we just subtract the two. Same thing goes for y. If we know the y-intercepts, we can find the distance between the two, just taking this value and this value and finding that distance. So that's a really easy way to find the vertical and horizontal distance between two parallel lines. Now, if we have two parallel lines and we're trying to find the shortest distance, the shortest distance is the line that's perpendicular to both lines. So if it's perpendicular to both lines, uh, the shortest distance, we want to choose this at any point again. And this goes back to the same idea. I could take this and I could put a perpendicular line right here, or I could put a perpendicular line right here. But I don't want to choose those because the easiest is a perpendicular line that goes through one of the intercepts and touches a point on the other line because it's easy to find the intercept. I could have also found this intercept down here and go up to here. doesn't matter which one you use. But it's all about those intercepts when we're trying to find a coordinate. Easiest coordinate to find is one of the intercepts. So let's use this in this example. Find the vertical distance, horizontal distance, and shortest distance between these two lines. And these two lines are parallel. And we're only going to be dealing with parallel lines because we wouldn't have any distance if they were not parallel. So let's just do a little sketch here. So I'm going to first just draw in a coordinate system. And once I have a coordinate system, I'm going to have a point at negative 2. And at 5, like so. And the slope is 1. I'm just going to do a sketch. And I'm going to say, well, I don't want to do green, though. No. I don't want to do red, though. Let's do green. I'm going to have a line that looks something like this and something like this. Not quite exactly parallel, but again, I'm just doing a sketch. So we want to find the shortest distance, well, let's first of all find the vertical and the horizontal distance. Now, the horizontal distance is going to be from here to here. So what we need to find is we need to find these intercepts. Now, I already know at this point, y is going to equal 0. On both of these, y is going to equal 0. Now, the x value, we just need to plug them in. So this is equation 1, and we'll call this 2. And I'll just label my graph as 1 and 2. Because if I take the first equation, y equals x plus 5, and I want to find the x-intercept, I set y equal to 0. 0 is going to equal x plus 5, and it's pretty easy math. x equals negative 5. So this is at a point negative 5 and 0. That's equation 1. Now, if we do equation 2, y equals x minus 2, put 0 in for x, or 0 in for y, I should say, and we're going to get x equals 2. So this is at the point 2, 0. My intercepts, I already know, or my y intercepts, I should say, I already know, because it's in the form y equals mx plus b. This is the point 0, 5. And this is the point uh, negative 2 and 0. 
Now, if we're trying to find the distance between the two, well, we just take one, subtract the other, and now when you're doing vertical distance, we can just take the absolute value. And this is what we do. If we want to do the vertical distance, we can just take the absolute value of x1 minus x2. So x1 is going to be minus 5 minus x2, which is 2. We're going to get a vertical distance of the absolute value of negative 7, which is just 7. And again, if you look at this, you can probably tell that it's 5 to here, 2 to here. The total length is going to be 7. The same thing works for the horizontal distance. Uh, oh, actually, I got these backwards. But horizontal, same thing. I found the horizontal. Vertical is dealing with y's. y2 minus y1. y2 is uh, negative 2 minus y1 minus 5. Again, it's going to equal 7. So we know the horizontal distance and the vertical distance with very little calculations are just 7 units. Now we want to find the shortest distance. So the shortest distance is going to be a line perpendicular. And now we're going to use one of the intercepts, one of the y-intercepts. And I'm just going to use this one right here. And I'm going to find this line, horizontal, or I should say perpendicular to both. And what I'm really concerned about now is that coordinate. We're trying to figure out what this coordinate is. And we're going to call this. Uh, I don't know, let's just call it x3 and y3. We're trying to find that point. Now, to find that point, we have this line right here. And it is perpendicular to our parallel lines. So we know that for 3, the slope perpendicular, the original slope was 1, the perpendicular slope is going to be negative 1. We know it goes through a point. 0, 5. So we can find out that y is going to equal negative 1x plus 5. This right here is your y-intercept. And just by choosing that y-intercept, it makes finding this equation very, very easy. So now, again, back to our picture. What we're trying to find is we're trying to find the intercept or the intersection, I should say, of line 2, which is this line right here, and line 3, which is the one we've created. And we want to find out what that coordinate is. So let's take line 2, y equals x minus 2. That's equation 2, or line 2. And line 3 is going to be y equals negative x plus 5. So we're trying to figure out where these two lines intercept. Well, again, we can just do elimination here. Add these two things together. 2y is going to equal 0x plus 3. So we're going to get y is equal to 3 over 2. Now, if that's our y coordinate, we put that into one of the equations. Let's put into the first one. 3 over 2 is equal to x minus 2. So x is going to equal 3 over 2 plus 2. And that's the same as 2 over 1. So we're going to get 3 over 2 plus 4 over 2, which is 7 over 2. So our coordinate is 7 over 2 and 3 over 2. Our other point. 0, 5. Now we need to find the distance between the two. So distance is square root of x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. And we just start plugging away. Let's call this point 1. Let's call this point 2. We're going to get 
7 over 2 minus 0 squared plus 3 over 2 minus 5, and I'm just going to put that over 1 squared. So we're going to get the square root of 7 over 2 squared plus, now 5 over 1 is the same as 10 over 2, so we're going to get 7 over 2 negative squared. So this is going to become 49 over 2 plus 49 over 2. Take the square root of that. And we're going to get 49 and 49 is 98 over 4, which is going to be root 98 over 4. And you could simplify that or put it into your calculator, etc. So there is the shortest distance between the two points. Now the thing about this shortest distance is it has to be the shortest distance. So your other two points, it's going to have to be shorter than 7 because that's the vertical distance and also shorter than 7 because it just happens to be the horizontal distance. So whatever that number turns out to be, it has to be less than 7. So if we take this and do the calculation, we're going to get 2.47. And that's going to be the shortest distance when you do that calculation.